football defeat. A letter describing a local team's poor performance. Dear Jack, I know you like to hear about home news when you're away at college, and so I'm writing to keep you up to speed on the performance of our football team. I know your mother writes frequently, but she's not likely to be interested in the activities of Rowan B United. For most of the season so far, the team's been doing quite well. We've won three games and drawn two. So far, so good. But all this changed on Saturday, when we had an away game against Barrow Green United. I'm not sure that I should tell you the gory details. It's probably best to leave you in blissful ignorance. We were all pinning our hopes on coming away from the game with at least a draw. The more optimistic among us were confident that we would get a result easily, since Barrow Green have not been playing quite as well as usual. To be honest, this was always a bit of a forlorn hope. The optimists seem to be forgetting that whatever their recent performance. Barrow Green are in second place in the league at the moment. They didn't get there without being able to play reasonably well. Still, we all got on the bus to go to Barrow Green, full of enthusiasm and optimism, and looking forward to victory. Of course, this had something to do with the fact that most of us had taken some Dutch courage with our pub lunch. It would be doing you a kindness to draw a veil over the actual game. It's something that is best not to know about. Our team played appallingly badly, as if they had never played together before. In fact, you would have thought that some of the players had never even seen a football before. It was unbelievable. As if this wasn't. Bad enough. Barrow Green played absolutely brilliantly. Somehow they had put their recent bad form behind them, especially for us. They left us dead in the water, and we needn't have bothered playing the second half of the match. The whole match was a humiliation for us, and it embarrasses me to write down the score. We lost five nil. Naturally, we were all gutted, as I'm sure you will be when you read this. Sorry to bring you such bad news. Take care, Terry.